We're fortunate in British Columbia. We have a lot of sources for our drinking water. We have lakes, we have aquifers. In some cases, we have deep rivers. The part that's important for everyone to understand is as clean as water looks, it's not always safe. There are two primary sources for our water, surface and groundwater sources. Surface water is all the above groundwater. It's the snow on mountains, the waters and streams, rivers, ponds, and lakes. Groundwater is the water that is moved below ground into aquifers. Aquifers are like sponges in the way they absorb water and hold it underground. Both of these types of water sources can be at risk of contamination. Having our source as a lake, we do have some challenges. Summertime is very busy. There, there's many activities out there. There's lots of boating, there's swimming and that sort of things. Um, many uh, streams and so on carry all sorts of things into the lakes. Uh, some of the other concerns we have, in the winter this is actually an ice highway. Periodically you do get a vehicle going through the ice. Well, there's ski trails and skating trails in the winter and a lot of people bring their animals out. And people don't always pick up the droppings as they should. Drinking water becomes unsafe when natural, animal, or human activities causes contaminants to enter the water source. Contaminants can be microbial, like bacteria and parasites from animal waste and sewage, physical, like natural spring runoff and pollution, and chemical, like fertilizers and natural heavy metals. When contaminants enter the water supply, we're at risk of getting sick. When there's a risk of harm from your drinking water, there's three different advisories we use. There's water quality advisories, there's well water notices, and there's do not use notices. One of our common advisories in, in our community is a water quality advisory. So that is turbidity, which is basically the cloudiness in the water. And if that measures above one, then we have a water quality advisory on. So water quality advisories um, really need to be looked at or appreciated by the elderly and children, those that are what we call immune deficient as well. So if they have a sickness. Well, water notices are used when we're concerned that there's a high risk of bacteria, virus, or parasites in your water, or when we know from an actual test. Boil your water for 60 seconds and it will kill it. Nobody likes a water quality advisory or a boil alert, but it's something you put up with occasionally. It doesn't always mean there's something bad in the system, okay? But when we do post a water quality or boil advisory, we give as many reasons and information on it as possible. Do not use advisories mean do not use your water. That's because there's a chemical or some other concern or risk in your water that will make you sick, it will cause you harm. Do not brush your teeth, do not take a shower, do not boil your water and drink it, do not use the water. Ensuring safe drinking water takes a lot of people. It takes a lot of time. Everyone has to work together. That community voice is key.